name here. I can do any name I like. I can call this um, OH. And then I could go in and type all these values. Instead of doing that, I'm going to use the Paste Wizard. I'm going to right click here and remove that column for now. Here's my Excel spreadsheet. And in my Excel spreadsheet, I have some file names and the OH value. This was um, exported from something else. I'm going to go in my spreadsheet. I'm going to select the row that heads my column. So I have one that says file comp and OH value. I'm just going to go through and I'm going to select all of the data and all of the file names. I'm going to hit Control C in Excel to copy them. And I'm going to go over here to our Programs IQ. I'm going to right click again in the training set grid and I'm going to choose paste. This brings up the pasting configuration wizard. Um, th this actually goes through and will, if you have a heading and you have the file name, it will actually line those up. So if you pasted things in the wrong order or um, you just want to make sure it's doing that double check for you, it will do it here. Um, if you don't set it up this way, it will just paste the data values starting from the beginning all the way to the bottom. So my source key is the data in my spreadsheet. So I'm going to tell it to look at the file um, slash comp field and compare that to the file field in my training set data grid. Now it's going to go look at the OH column. It's going to um, make a destination column called OH value. It's going to be a constituent type knows it's going to be constituent values, and it'll create the column for me. So I'll choose Next. And here's where I see warning messages if things don't line up, if there are entries that um, are not in one or the other, it'll tell you that here. If any other error messages that it may find, for example, if there are non-numeric values in um, the constituent value field, it'll, do, it'll um, warn you about that as well. I would like to put one little plug in here for our help. Um, if, if you ever get stuck in any screen in Grams IQ, if you hit the Help button, it will take you to the exact section of the help file um, related to that. So if you're pasting, you're not sure how to line things up, um, it'll take you right to the help file to explain the steps on how to do that. I'm going to choose Paste. And if I look in my um, my spreadsheet here on the top. It's now pasted all those data values in exactly as they were in Excel.